What's up everyone, it's your girl Annabelle J and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, please make sure you turn on the notifications and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video from me. So I'm starting off by using my Cherie Amar Cosmetics Glow Drops and I am massaging this into the skin. I'm in New York City and it is very cold and dry right now. So I am making sure to really give my skin a little bit of extra love and taking at least 30 seconds to a minute to really massage this into the skin to get it nice and plump for the makeup application. That way it looks really, really seamless and it kind of helps to diminish the lines and any dry spots and patches that can be found on the skin so for eyes i'm using a bit of the mac paint pot one of my absolute favorite eye primers and this is in the shade laying low and the color is pretty opaque so it gives your shadows something to stick to and really enhances and increases the intensity and vibrance of the shadows i also like to place this in my smile lines i'm very expressive so i tend to get creasing after a couple of hours and by doing this little trick it really does prevent my foundation from sinking so i'm going to go ahead and use this uh, spoolie from ruby kisses and just brush up my brows they need to be done honey like i'm trying really hard to get them to grow out but i may have to cave and kind of pluck them a little bit so i'm using a maybelline brow pencil and I am just outlining my brows and filling them in very, um, I guess you could say semi lightly because this is not a light brow application, <laughs> but I do like my brows to be full. So there's one brow done and then I'm going to go ahead and use a bit of the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45 on, I believe this brush is from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to use my finger to blend that out. So for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using my Jackie Aina palette, and you guys know I've been loving this palette. So I am going to begin by buffing the shade Ginger into my crease. And I'm just using a really fluffy eyeshadow, eyeshadow brush to do so. making sure to take my time with really buffing the color in. I want it to be really blown out and seamless. I love when you can't see any lines of demarcation in the eyeshadow application. So there it is, nice and blown out. And now to further deepen, I'm using the shade Edges on that same brush. And I'm making sure to really pack the color on first and concentrating this directly into my crease area. So note how I'm using the tip of my brush to really push that color right where I want it to be. And then I'm using the brush to kind of feather it out and buffing into the previous color. Now I'm using the color called Big Wig. <laughs> and I'm using a MAC, I believe this is a 217 brush. I've had this brush for so many years. I haven't worked at MAC in like five, six years. So yeah. I'm using the color Big Wig and I'm using one side of like the belly of the brush to pack the color on. And then I will use the tip of the brush to blend the two colors. Well, to blend the colors into the transition area, right into my crease. And then I'm going back in with that first brush and I'm going to marry the two colors together and then repeat the process on the same side. So for this look, I decided to go with a halo eye. I like halo eyes. They're really pretty. They're actually very easy to do if you are someone who is not that advanced in makeup um, eyeshadow application. This is actually a really foolproof eyeshadow look, so I would definitely suggest trying it. And now with my fingers, I'm using the shade Dollars. This is one of my favorite shades. It's really pretty. It's like an iridescent... Um, kind of green with a shift to it, it's really nice. And I'm just placing this in the center of my little rear where that little space was, and then going back in with that 217 brush to fade the two colors together. 
So now I will be showing you guys this awesome lash subscription from thegreatlashbox.com. I also have a coupon code, so I will leave that down in the description box so you can receive some money off of your purchase. The Great Lash Box is a monthly subscription where you can choose between six pairs of lashes for $49.99 or you can get three pair of lashes for $29.99. In this box, you also get a eyelash glue and a lash applicator so you have everything you need inside of this box look at how gorgeous these lashes are they have a variety of different styles of lashes so you if you are the type of girl who likes that really big fluffy 25 millimeter lash they have those they have 3d mink they have full mink they have more subtle styles for um the daytime and i really do love every pair of lashes in this box that I received. I promise you guys, like each lash tells a story. So for this story today, Hubby and I are actually celebrating our eighth wedding anniversary and this is my date night look. So I am using the lash glue and the applicator that came inside of the box to apply these lashes. I do appreciate the fact that these, um, that the lash glue is latex free. So they do not irritate my eyes. If you are allergic to latex, you don't have to worry about that. So I will leave more information about this lash in the description box down below. I am now continuing with the rest of my face by using a bit of the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer along with the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. And I'm using this on the Real Technique setting brush. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel for the past couple of weeks, then you know that I really do love the underpainting technique. It is basically a foolproof application if you are someone who has a hard time blending in your concealer to make it look a little bit more seamless. I highly would suggest applying your concealer and contour um, products underneath your foundation. It really does just allows you to have a more seamless application as you can see here as I completed one side of my face. It just looks really flawless and it doesn't take away from the concealer that I used. It still has the brightness there. The key is to apply the product to the lower half of the face first and then you work your way up. That way you are not overusing product or over blending. So that way you still have the brightness from the concealer but then um, it's not sitting on top of the skin and looking kind of janky. <laughs> so now I'm using the darkest color in this CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. And this is a very warm color. I always mention that I'm not really huge on corn contouring on myself. I do prefer to bronze, so this is a very warm shade. And I'm using this on a really fluffy dome brush to really get into the hollows of my cheek and to really um, get tight around the hairline. I don't like to have makeup in my locks, so. Cause I only wash my hair like maybe every four weeks or so. So I try not to have too much product sitting in it. So now I'm using the same brush that I use for foundation to marry all of the shades together and really make everything seamless i say seamless a lot but that's because i'm really big on skin application like eyes are nice but if you mess up the eyes and you have a bomb skin application i promise you you will still get complimented on your makeup so now to set my concealer and underneath the eyes i'm going to be using a bit of the fenty pro filter powder on the same real technique setting brush and i'm just applying a bit of this where I needed to stay bright but more matte. And I really do like this powder. It is the perfect shade. It's not too yellow, it's not too translucent. It really does illuminate and um, give that brightening effect to my concealer the way that I like it, but not overly done. I don't like a too bright under eye. I like my foundation and my skin work for all of the colors that are in my skin to be found in my makeup so this powder really does complement very well to set my bronzer i'm using a bit of the covergirl bronzer in the shade ebony and i am just going all around my face and no strategic placement in a sense i just wouldn't look really sun-kissed 
and this bronzer is like perfect for that if i sound annoyed it's because i am i don't know how many times i recorded <laughs> this audio so i'm a little annoyed but we're gonna make it work y'all we're gonna make it work using MAC Manivalize Skin Finish in the shades Dark and Dark Deepest. I am using this to set all over the face. I am going over the entire face with that to melt everything together. And I'm going in now to my Shinka Beauty Blush and Contour Palette. And I'm using the two deepest shades to add a little bit of definition to the back portion of my face. I don't like to bring my contour shades too far down. It makes me look too chiseled. And very masculine so I just keep it right by the ear the top of my ear just to add that definition and that's it using the blush and highlight palette also from Shinka Beauty I'm using the two blushes in the second row the two first blushes in the second row to add a bit of color to my face since I will be doing a nude lip and I have heavy color on the eyes it's important to keep the skin looking balanced and so that way it doesn't look washed out I'm also using the highlight shade from in that palette to really bring out the apples of my cheeks and to give my face a bit more of a glow and to enhance the roundness of it. If you are interested in these lashes, please check out my coupon code in the description box so that way you can get some money off of your purchase. I'm using this Thrive Cosmetics Black Eyeliner, which is running out. I gotta get another one. Um, I'm using this to really get into my waterline and to deepen them up and smoke them out a little bit. And I'm smoking out my lower lash line with the colors that are in my on my lid. So I think this color is called Big Wig. And now I'm using the shade Sexy from Shinka Beauty. This is their liquid lipstick. I like to use liquid lipsticks as lip liner because they don't budge. I will leave the name of these other two lip colors down in the description box below. And as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is the completed look here. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.